In this video, you'll see how to grant a PII code to CPII flow. We first select the package we want to migrate this to the name of the iFlow, and then we can check the value of this iFlow. And now we can see it looks okay. We can preview it. And once we've done that, we simply press migrate. This will migrate all artifacts to the CPII flow. We can see it here. We can see our parameters with. We can see we have uh, function libraries converted as scripts. Once we're done with it, we can start the testing by collecting messages from the PI system, convert these, and then we can run the same test on the CPI iFlows. And now we can see the result of this test. We can see if there's known exceptions. Once done, you can use the figure tool to select the iFlow create and select all the test cases you have and run them on the, the iFlow to document the process. Once this is done, we can start the transport. And in this transport, we have an option and just one screen here to configure all artifacts. And we also can approve it and approving. And once we have approved it, everything will be documented in an Excel sheet for us to use as a documentation for this. If you like this, learn much more about it at Figafdog.